A ginger shot because I really want to begin to focus more on my health, my wellness. All that is unfortunately taking a back seat through this whole moving process. I didn't plan for it to be like that, but moving and getting settled and unpacking and all that stuff has definitely been the priority because I personally have a hard time doing anything if my space is in disarray. So for me, the focus has been on get my space together or at least to a point that feels okay and not chaotic. And then I can start to focus on creating new habits, routines, wellness, self-care, and creating a new life here. By the way, hi, welcome back to another New York vlog or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. I just moved to New York two and a half weeks ago and I'm still in the unpacking and moving process. I moved on May 1st but the delivery of my items didn't come until May 17th so we are still in full-blown moving and unpacking mode. It does not feel like I've been here for over two and a half weeks at this point. Honestly living in New York City doesn't even feel real to me yet. I haven't even processed at all I think because I was living out of a suitcase for like three weeks. If you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of good stuff going on. Having kind of a slow morning over here today, which was much needed. I slept pretty well last night. Speaking of sleep, I actually ordered the hatch alarm slash white noise thing that I want to set up today. Also, the other thing I want to tackle as far as moving is figuring out my bathroom. If you watched my last vlog, my apartment is in the same state that it was in as that final clip because that was just last night. Sorry, I didn't say bye in that vlog. I felt kind of weird, but I just was so tired last night that I was like, don't understand. I'll just write goodnight on the screen. It'll be fine. But yeah, it's the next morning. Everything is exactly the same as it was in that last clip. The next thing I want to tackle is the bathroom and then sort the living room out a little bit because I'm hoping that my couch is going to come next week. We shall see. I have not heard from the delivery company yet, but fingers crossed that it, it comes. <laughs> it was supposed to come last Monday, a week ago, but this came last night though. Got this on Amazon, not sponsored, just heard really good things about it. I usually like to read and have red lights on at night. I'm still trying to figure out the lamp situation in my bedroom, but I thought this could be something good to have because there is white noise on here. There's also like a reading light on here. You can change the color of the reading light and turn it to red. If you don't know about red lights, I have a podcast episode with a light expert all about it. I've been doing red lights at night for a couple of years. So I will link that episode down below. He goes into way more detail and explains how it affects your circadian rhythm and can help with your hormones and all of that stuff. But yeah, this was very appealing to me. I figured why not try it? Okay, this is seriously so pretty. It looks so nice. I love it. I just set up a bedtime routine. I didn't set up a wake up routine yet because I'm still trying to just let myself sleep in as much as possible if I can because I have not been sleeping well. But this was really, really easy. And I actually read some reviews online that kind of scared me for a minute because it said you have to pay for a monthly membership which is not true. You can access certain sounds and features through the app for free if you want a more extensive routine or bedtime stories or meditations or whatever. You can pay for the monthly membership. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just going to try it out with the free app first. Basically, I set it up so that when I tap on the top, I can have pink noise on just to drown out any sounds because I am really high up in my building, so it is pretty quiet and I don't really hear noise for my neighbors, but I do notice that in the evenings there is a little bit more noise and I am a pretty sensitive sleeper so I like to have white noise or pink noise or even brown noise on just to kind of drown that out. So pink noise on and the warm white light for 30 minutes while I read. 
And then it'll switch to red light, which is really nice. You can't really tell right now. At some point, once I fall asleep, I guess the light turns off and then just the pink noise continues until I wake up in the morning. We shall see how it works. I was gonna get a new white noise machine anyway, and then I saw this one and I thought it just was really pretty and matched the vibes in here, I'm not gonna lie. Plan on keeping my bedside tables pretty minimal. Hello, New York. Looking very gray, but still gorgeous today. Showered this morning and washed my hair, which feels so good. I just feel like a new person when I have clean hair. I would wash my hair every single day if I could, but I know it's not good for your hair, so I don't do it. Also did my brows today. Just like feeling uh, a little bit more like myself, or not even like myself, like a better version of myself. Next week on Monday, I really want to start a fresh week and really start to step into this New York City version of me and find a good healthy routine and really take care of myself and fill up my cup and all the good stuff. But for now, I have some emails that I need to catch up on. I've been really behind with emails, texts, calls, DMs, all the things, because I've just been in unpacking mode. So I need to catch up on that. And then our task for today is to organize the bathroom. a little lunch break and then we will organize. I meal prepped some vegan chickpea salad. So I'm just having that on some bread with some chili flakes and salt and pepper. The recipe for this is up on my blog. I will link my blog below. Just look up vegan chicken salad or vegan chickpea salad. It's like one of my favorite things to meal prep. It's so easy. Just went on a nice little walk with the dogs how but for some reason time here in new york is going so quickly for me like every day goes by so quickly i don't understand <laughs> i wake up so early and then before i know it it's three or four o'clock gosh this soap smells so good this is super random <laughs> but i'm just smelling it right now and i feel like i need to tell you because it is an up level for sure i wanted to get nice hand soap for my bathroom initially and then i ended up getting Another one for the kitchen. It's the Lalabo Basil Hand Soap. It smells amazing. Clean ingredients, it smells amazing. Nice neutral packaging. And Lalabo has this just high level vibe to it that I love. I love the earthy scents. And originally went into the Lalabo store in Brooklyn with my mom and she got this for me for my birthday. And then I purchased an additional hand soap and a hand lotion for the bathroom because I just love the scent so much. Linking this below for you. You need this, it smells so good. I feel like the scent lingers after you wash your hands too and you can just like smell it in the house. It just smells so, so good. Speaking of Lalabo, I got the Lalabo and the long dress laundry soap, the Rose 31 and the Santal 33. I'm so excited to use these. I actually got a little tester of the Santal 33 perfume at the Lalabo store and I've been using it for the last couple weeks since my mom was here and I am just like so obsessed with the smell. It smells so, so good. And I'm so excited to use this detergent on my sheets and towels. It just smells seriously amazing. I will link it below, you need this. Anyway, just got really off topic here. It's time to tackle this bathroom. I have a lot of really good storage in here. Wow, the lighting is just like not great in my bathroom, sorry. But I think what I'm gonna do, I have like a whole bin of backstock products that I get gifted from like PR packages and also stuff that I've purchased that I just like to always be stocked on. And so I think I'm gonna organize all of that and decide if it will all fit in there or if I wanna give anything away. And then at that point, I can decide if I need to kind of expand and get an additional cabinet or shelf or something else and we'll kind of start from there. Got 
got some good stuff done. Still need to figure out what to do with all of that. I need to decide whether I'm gonna get an over the toilet storage cabinet or what I'm gonna do with that, but I feel pretty good about where we're at right now. So one thing I will say about organizing and making things look semi-aesthetic, I love using glass canisters. I got these on Amazon. They are linked on my Amazon storefront, which is always linked in the description box, but I will also link them below. I love using these things to organize things that I use every day. So I have my cotton pads and Q-tips, reusable makeup pads, Epsom salt. All of my daily things that I can organize in that way are on this little cart. I have my light stem, my makeup down there. And then down here, oh, I need to wipe that off. <laughs> I don't know what I got on that. Down here, I really love the look of having the towels just folded under there, but I need to utilize the space. So put this little basket that I got a long time ago at the container store with my flat iron. This is the charger for my toothbrush, my curling iron and stuff like that. My hair stuff is in there. In here, I have some sheet masks here and here, my eye masks that I like to use every day, washcloths. And then I put all of my hair ties and hair clips in another glass container in here. And this is just a couple of products that wouldn't fit in the medicine cabinet. And then like my little headband and that kind of stuff there. I like the look of a very clean, minimal looking countertop. So I just have a candle and then this this Osea body butter that does not sadly fit in the cabinet. And then I have that Lalabo hand soap and hand lotion there. And then in here, I've done my best to organize things and make it look nice and aesthetic. My hair stuff is here on the bottom and I have my skincare on the second shelf stuff for my teeth, body care and tanning, my gua sha and stuff like that, fragrance. And then at the top, I have my little dermaplaning razors up there. I might try to get a little container or a small bamboo organizer kind of like this, but maybe a little bit smaller for those. But in the meantime, they're just gonna hang out in there. It literally randomly just started pouring rain and thunderstorming. I don't understand. I'm so confused. Very bizarre. Anyway, the next order of business is I got a shower curtain from Target before I moved here that I really liked. It's like a waffle material, but it was way too long. So my mom was like, cut it. So I cut it and I ordered this hem adhesive from Amazon and this cute mini iron that I really hope works. And I'm going to hem it with this and hope that it works. Oh my gosh, this is such a small iron. I definitely wanted something small, very small. Yay, it worked and it looks so nice on the bottom. So easy. I also got this extension cord from Amazon. It's like this really pretty beige material. Very aesthetic. Yes, the extension cord also needs to be aesthetic. Everything must be aesthetic in this apartment. Just kidding. Well, kind of, but not really. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make everything as aesthetic as possible because you know what? It makes me happy. I'm gonna use this in my room or my iPad, but you won't even see this cord. So it'll be under my bed. But I know it's there, and that's what matters. Got dinner started. I think I'm just gonna do some of my kale detox salad and some roasted Brussels sprouts. I might also do some pasta, but I don't know really that hungry to be honest with you, but I need to try to eat a little bit earlier. I think my eating habits are still on West Coast time because I get hungry really, really late. So I'm trying to like eat earlier and try to get myself on a better schedule. Anyway, I'm rambling. I really need to figure out which rug I'm gonna keep or if I'm gonna keep them at all. I got them before I moved here and I was really excited, but I think that they feel too small in this space. So maybe you can help me decide. Got them at Target. I don't even know if I can return them at this point. One is a jute rug. I don't know that I love this jute one. It's like so much darker than I thought it was gonna be. This one does have a little bit of gray in it, which kind of ties in the cabinets, which by the way, I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna cover that bottom part with something. I don't know what, obviously I don't wanna damage that. I wanna do something that's renter friendly, but I've been chatting to my mom about it and trying to think of what I can use to cover the dark piece of the countertop because it's just super dark for me. But do we like this? Or this one. And actually, to be honest with you, I think that I like this one already. Are you doing a big stretch? <laughs> I think it just brightens it up 
And yeah, I think it'll be a vibe. Although maybe I will hold on to this one until my couch comes because my couch is a cream linen color and it might be too much cream linen, but we shall see. This is the same rug I have in the kitchen, by the way. Evening walks with this view never get old. Whoa, it's so foggy out again. You can't even see out of the windows. So crazy. Wow, the weather is so nice today. It's gonna be like high 70s or 80s. So, so happy. My girlfriend Danny just texted me. She wants to meet up for lunch in the city and I need a break from unpacking and moving. I am obsessed with my apartment, but I need to get out of my apartment. I have spent the last week basically alone inside this apartment. I'm just wearing a little dress that I got at Aritzia a couple of weeks ago. I shared about it in a vlog with some sneakers. So let's get out and explore New York a little. slightly lost, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but we made it. I guess that's New York. It's nearly impossible to get anywhere on time. got to have some fun today too, didn't you? Good morning, let's go on a little walk. Happy Sunday. Come on. on Sunday. Today has unintentionally become a self-care day. Did edit most of the day. It was so hot outside, like 90s hot, that I just was like, I'll stay in and got some work done. Decided now's a good time for self-care. And even though it's so hot outside, all I can think about is ramen. But I actually bought some ramen noodles. I don't have miso paste, but I think I wanna make like a makeshift ramen with what I have. Oh, my bad, it's 620. <laughs> I swear, time goes so quickly. I don't know how to keep track. These are my favorite ramen noodles to cook with at home. They are vegan friendly. Using my gorgeous caraway cookware. I don't have any miso paste and I typically like to put miso paste in my ramen that I make, but this stuff is amazing. It's better than bouillon, it's vegan. So I'm just gonna do some of this and minced ginger, chopped garlic, 
tamari and sriracha, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, onion, zucchini. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. My camera just fell out of the tripod and broke. Oh my gosh. That was an expensive mistake. Literally dead. This is my only vlogging camera. And I just recently got this one and the lens does not come off. So it is broken. How did that even happen? That didn't lock. That is particularly annoying because I, I never break anything. I thought my Mercury retrograde bad luck was over. What is happening? The top of the tripod has like a lock and I think that this just didn't lock in. Okay, well, I'm not gonna show you how I make this ramen because the camera's dead. <laughs> but I will, I literally can't believe that just happened. I will take clips on my phone after I make it. Don't get excited, I'm vlogging on my phone. I was just thinking about how ironic it is that I was making ramen at home to save money and then I broke my $800 vlogging camera. <sighs> Mercury retrograde, I'm telling you. I don't understand what is going on this week. <sighs> I can't take any more though. No more, no more drama. making cookies because I'm sad about my camera. Hi, it's a few days later. <laughs> I just wanna give you a little update. My camera is still broken. I am vlogging this on my phone and I didn't really like end the vlog properly. I'm currently editing this vlog and was like, you can't leave them hanging like that. So yeah, very upset about my camera. Pretty expensive mistake. I was able to order a new one, thank goodness for credit cards, but it doesn't come for a couple of days. I was pretty upset about it, obviously. I took the day yesterday to return a rug, and then I took myself out to lunch and explored the city and just gave myself a day to like not think about creating or work just to take the pressure off of myself because things have been a little bumpy, a little challenging. And breaking my camera obviously was just an added stress that I did not need, but things happen. And yesterday, I just took a moment to gain some perspective and come to terms with the fact that the only thing I can do is replace it and move forward. <laughs> Just wanted to give you a proper goodbye, let you know that the next vlog will probably be partially filmed on my phone because I don't have a choice. Just know that. If you're not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have a really fun adventure that I'm going on tomorrow, which you'll see in the next vlog. And I'm gonna obviously take you along with me, whether I have a vlogging camera or not. I'm gonna be taking you on my phone. We're gonna make it work, right? Because that's what we do. We go with the flow. We ride the waves and we're gonna make it work. Anyway, I love you. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in my next vlog.